very pleasant uh, good evening to all today i would like to share about ham radio and uh, academy of ham radio which is involved in ham radio activities for a long time particularly i myself after receiving the ham radio license in 1984 started involving in the ham radio activities participating in the various disaster management works starting from 1986 the first ever operation i took part is godavari flood relief operation and since then for the last 35 years almost i have been involved many relief and disaster disaster operation as and today also as and when required requirement is coming from the government i am taking part in the disaster management activities it is a long journey that as far as the training activities is concerned uh, almost uh, it is a 35 years of journey started from 1987 i took part uh, in a training program involving tribal teachers in a small village is called yoturu nagaram in warangal district that is ab- about uh, it is a remote uh, village about 100 kilometers from the warangal and after reaching there that is almost a forest area we have undertaken a training program that is the first ever training program on the it was conducted on the aegis of uh, national institute of amateur radio at those days i was i have involved myself working with the national institute of amateur radio hyderabad after that i took many ham radio training programs and as well as disaster management activities uh, tribal teachers initially they were a bit of reluctant uh, to know about uh, ham radio and to train because they have to go hectic training in morse code particularly it is a regular it needs a regular practice they shown some reluctant to learn about morse code and electronic and communication procedure once after sensitizing them and bringing awareness and the uses they involved very seriously that was a very, uh, a very good successful training program it has given a immense satisfaction to us and later i have involved many training programs almost in and around of vijayawada uh, on behalf of academy of ham radio involved many training programs even though i don't have any big infrastructure uh, and support from the uh, uh, i don't uh, have any support financial aid or something like that as a individual with the help of some good samaritan uh, samaritarians and assistance from some ham radio operators like uh, vu3 nyd ramakrishna and uh, shiva ganesh like this uh, with the help of those people i have continued my journey has and today almost covered uh, 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 about uh, uh, 50 colleges and i took part in the training programs right from new delhi to visakhapatnam in various places conducted training on behalf of national institute of amateur radio in hyderabad and then visakhapatnam warangal kammam nanjala new delhi 
முஸ்வரி லால் பகதூர் சாஸ்திரி நேஷனல் அகாடமி ஆஃப் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் அண்ட் in the process i have took many tra- training activities successfully demonstrations few thousand people thousand people i have covered in the last 35 years uh, more than 160 training programs have been conducted by by us it has given immense satisfaction as and today also in the changing atmosphere with the advent of uh, internet facilities uh, like uh, um, zoom apps microsoft teams all these facilities have come up helping us taking the training program from uh, the home based training program conducting uh, covering almost all over india since it is a web based training program anybody can attend for hamradi training program i would like to share in the last training program which was conducted at about 8 9 months back which was attended by a person mr ramu a tamilian attended uh from the uh, saudi arabia he was a engineer a offshore engineer almost uh, used to stay most of the time in the sea that to in a ship uh, offshore uh, rig operation and all he attended from there successfully so now with the new technology coming available uh, above, available for us uh, Uh, if a person is interested earlier only those who are nearby to us that suppose if i am conducting the training program in visaka vijayawada they need to come to the training classes regularly but now that case is not there if somebody is interested they can attend the training program wherever they they belongs irrespective of their place at about 27 uh, monitoring stations are there offices are there those who are trained uh, through us through uh, through online they can appear for the examination wherever they likes on these uh, 27 monitoring stations the examination it will be conducted in different uh, places in different timings it's not a usual public examination like and uh, different schedules are there so depending upon the number of applications available number of people applied for the license it will be conducted in some places more and more time uh, more number of times exams will be conducted in some places rarely they will conduct yearly once uh, or otherwise uh, they will conduct uh, uh, something like that uh, two years once like this and some places it's all depends upon the exa applicants so we are almost conducting whenever opportunity comes in vijayawada uh, holding requesting authorities to conduct the examination and uh, uh, for your information uh, just uh, uh, the examination that is uh, likely to be conducted here in vijayawada this month itself applications have been already forwarded um, so those who already applied they can appeal for the examination and then of course the examination will be conducted yearly twice or thrice no problem if you uh, cannot uh, submit your application in time uh, for this examination and uh, the, those people who are interested from outside outside out of vijayawada also they attend this online training program last batch one mr sudhans gaus he contacted me uh, personally called me and expressed his willingness to undergo ham radio training that too for general grade you all might be knowing there are two types of grades one is general grade examination another one is restricted grade restricted grade uh, Uh, those who wanted to appear for restricted grade examination 
they need not undergo mors code but if they wanted to go for a general grade they need to undergo receiving and transmitting mors code re regular practice it needs but uh, uh, those who attends uh, 15 days of regular co continuous training daily one hour at the rate of one hour easily they can go through the general grade examination very easily and last batch it has given a immense satisfaction for us almost all the candidates those who have put be, uh, best efforts qualified only two three candidates have uh, uh, have not qualified for general grade but they also qualified most of them restricted so this time also we are going to start online training program people irrespective of their uh, place wherever they are from throughout india as a matter of fact throughout world i say they can attend appear the training program it is very interesting the mors code is the only hurdle those who are having knowledge in electronics for them mors code is the only hurdle so that part of it will take care 100% guarantee uh, uh, will be given definitely it's very very interesting if you daily attend the morse code sessions memorizing morse code is very very interesting and uh, in this uh, occasion i would like to mention one thing uh, justice narsimha Char chari garu uh, in the last batch uh, who have undergone ham, uh, ham radio training long back in the uh, they have, he has given the examination very recently successfully came out not only he came out he encouraged his daughter also in the examination successfully she also qualified and he has shown that much of interest for morse code even after completion of examination also He is daily practicing Morse code. It gives uh, 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 for the memorizing purpose. It gives to improve his memory power. So it is uh, something like that, uh, refreshing our mind. So uh, people are there are some people they are having a wrong notion. Morse code is very very difficult. One cannot uh, undergo training, but uh, uh, proper training it will give. very good self confidence that uh, that part of it we are going to take the interesting thing is those who are having engineering certificates particularly ece electronics and communication engineers or bsc electronics msc electronics all these people are those, those who are having uh, the, their graduate certificate even diploma electronics with the ece electronics and communication engineering they are eligible to get exemption in electronic part that means uh, section a will be exempted section a 50 marks out of 100 50 marks is allotted for uh, electronics for general grade examination paper is 2 hour section a is electronics and section b is communication procedure rules regulations and uh, some uh, 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 some ethics these are all will be covered in the communication procedure but that is very very easy limited subject one can easily get through the subject with our support with our assistance a regular assistance 100% out of 50 easily one can get 40 more than 40 marks so total one should get to qualify in the examination total marks are 60 in both sections those who get exemption they should get only 30 marks in the communication procedure they will be considered as qualified uh, as qualified in the examination 
of course morse code is the also there with a systematic daily practice one can easily 100% qualify and of course once you get the ham radio license sky is the limit really my word please kindly remember your cell phone as long as your cell phone is working i am also having cell phone when it fails to, fails to work then my ham radio start working ham radio it is a independent communication system it will it doesn't need any big towers it basing on ionosphere and with small antennas it works today's technology it is always prone to fail whenever a disaster occurs in any disaster the first and foremost casualty would be communication but unfortunately in any disaster like cyclone earthquake floods the first and foremost uh, thing that is going to be affected is communications ham radio is one such a independent communication system that can be arranged in minutes time for whereas restoration of cell communication uh, we need at least weeks of time for making rectifying rectifying the towers and fiber optic cables it's not so easy to restore the cell communication whereas a ham radio with a simple antennas and immediately we can restore the communication and we can handle the uh, relief and rescue operation that is the thing uh, uh, that is a prime important subject in any calamities not only hams are taking part not only in the disasters uh, disasters and uh, as a humanish humanitarian grounds uh, missing of people are also being uh, a communication people communication handling the communication messages to one place to another and we are sometimes uh, we are able to locate the locate the missing persons relatives also using coupling the both the technology internet and ham radio recently one uh, sitalu a village woman from a small hamlet of uh, puligummi near nearby bobbili place uh, of vijayanagaram vijayanagaram accidentally she, she have detached from the team she went to take part in a ganga mela in west bengal accidentally she detached from the team and uh, uh, found in kolkata roads by some uh, people in a injured manner the good samaritans immediately took her to the hospital anand pandit hospital enrolled her for treatment the good doctors nurses they have given a provided a valuable services as a result of which she has covered but it all took some months of time but uh, the most pathetic thing is part is they are unable to communicate with the old women who only can talk communicate in telugu but the uh, bengali people unable to communicate her because of this language barrier and she is unable to give proper information also that old women because of her poor knowledge unable to give the location the all the information at least unable to provide the some sum of their relatives cell phone numbers so uh, they are, they have become helpless and unable to locate the relatives in turn 
they have contacted west bengal amateur radio secretary amrish uh, and uh, he has took initiative contacted us here in vijayawada academy of ham radio took our help immediately we have started our operation uh, sending messages through ham radio and as well as whatsapps and ultimately many netizens took part in this they have responded positively and forwarded our messages to many groups as a result of which it has reached the destination that means reached the relatives of uh, that old woman sitalu and ultimately i am very very happy i am very very feeling proud to be become a ham radio operator ultimately she has brought back to her native place just yesterday her, her grandson in who is working in hyderabad as a construction engineer mr ravi went all the way from hyderabad to kolkata and taking the coordination from the doctors and uh, uh, hospital staff uh, he has released her grandmother and brought her all the way from kolkata to vijayanagaram by train and vijayanagaram to his native place pulugummi and thus it is it, it is a uh, uh, it is a very happy ending for the old woman and of her family members it has brought the cheerness among them and we are feeling very very extremely happy and expressing our satisfaction sharing ham radio communication as a ham radio, it also involves social uh, service ham radio not only sharing our knowledge sometimes as and when require a requirement arises social service also can be done and uh, you also can become ham radio operator Ex- experiment it uh, experiment with radio and uh, at the times of emergencies you can take part because ham radio is nowadays uh, uh, dedicated satellites are also coming for the exclusively operator operation of ham radio q100 satellite is giving an opportunity for us contacting directly 24 into 7 uh, to at about 120 countries that means uh, one third of the globe a q100 satellite which was launched by qatar amateur radio uh, 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 india it's a false its range entire india indians can utilize the, uh, its services so we can have communication interlink one place to one another place village to village 24 into 7 with a crystal clear signal pumping only 1 or 2 watts that is sufficient unlike uh, uh, unlike uh, the hitch of communication it needs we need to pump a lot of power say some 100 watts sometime 200 watts more than that also <coughs> as a general grade operator we are eligible to pump at about 400 watts when comes to satellite communication 4 watts is enough that is the maximum power you cannot pump more power than 4 watts if you pump more power satellite you will get a signal a siren will Uh, a satellite will give a siren so it sound it sounds a siren so 4 uh, watts is the maximum power that is a facility with a low power you can reach with the, the other station with crystal clear signal all these facilities you one can avail if you become if you becomes a ham radio operator hoping that uh, you all can Uh, the, uh, show interest to join in the training program 
for becoming ham radio operators for uh, more information you can talk to me uh, just i am going to provide the my uh, number uh, mobile number you can also uh, get my mobile number uh, in the google search simply ham radio in andhra pradesh or otherwise ramesh babu arja ham radio uh, you can easily locate my address and as well as my mobile number if you want to know more information with this i would like to take leave uh, saying best 73s a word in ham radio best 73s is good wishes bye for all